At around 30 years old, Aleko worked at Motor Sales Used Car Center at 951 Portage Avenue, Winnipeg as a car salesman. Two years later, at 32, he would design a slingshot for hunting enthusiasts, of which he was one. The slingshot was his very first design and marketable invention. Slingshots were still very popular in the 1960s, with companies like Whammo selling them and distributing them worldwide. But Aleko's slingshot design was a brand new introduction to the market. Rather than making it from a standard wood material, Aleko decided to make his slingshot out of a fiberglass resin epoxy material instead. He would also give it an ergonomic design and shape to comfortably fit the hands of the user. One could order a left-hand model or a right-hand model. This was quite exciting and revolutionary to the sportsman marketplace and it made Aleko's slingshot wildly popular. In 1963, he formed and registered a small company to start mass producing his slingshots. The name he chose to use for his new company was Bowler Manufacturing. Though it is still a mystery today exactly how and why Aleko came to acquire the name Bowler for his company, he did happen to name his slingshot the Bowler Slingshot. The very earliest known advertisement that Aleko publicly placed for his bowler slingshot appeared in the Winnipeg Free Press newspaper on July 20th, 1963 on page 49. The ad hailed, Most fantastic slingshot ever designed. Powerful rubber band shoot half ounce slug through quarter inch plywood. It sold for $3.95. Following a year of filling orders worldwide, Oleko then filed a patent for his bowler slingshot in July of 1964 to protect his winning design. 